Hi everyone! I'm back! This is Anyam Nurse and matagal ako hindi nakagawa ng videos because na busy sa work and now um, I mentioned to my last video that I will share to you the process of the recognition and registration as a nurse here in Switzerland ano yung mga napagdaanan ko what are the um, experiences what papers um, yung mga sinend ko and I'll give you some hint well um, at first you can uh, get the whole information at the uh, Red Cross or Schweizerische Roteskreuz the website is uh, www.redcross.ch or .ch yes um, .ch yeah and um, it details all the requirements and the information there. You can read it. It's um, very precise. Nakasulat lahat ng mga, uh, mga dapat nyong gawin doon. And that's the first step. You have to um, know ano yung mga requirements and how long they're processing and ano yung mga kailangan nyong ipasa sa kanila. So, um, in my experience, what I did was um, I was with the agency together, but you can do it to uh, you can do it um, alone as well. You have to go to the pre-check first. So you have to go to the website. This is the pre-check or .ch. Yes, um, you have to register first. You have to log in and you have to uh, make an account and then after you register the account and you make it um, you have to give all the details your of course your address nandun naman nakasulat naman lahat kung ano yung mga ibibigay yung details and then after that you'll see um, the requirements they need for the pre-check so why pre-check is important so um, yun yung sinasabi nila na for proofum so they need to check it first if your the diploma is recognizable in Switzerland. So yun yung pinaka first step. Hindi ka pa magbabaya doon, parang ano pa lang yun, um, first hand pa lang. So that you will know if you uh, will um, going to proceed or not. Kasi it's, they uh, give you the result if it's positive or negative. So if it's the pre-check is positive, um, you'll able to get through the process. Pero muna i-continue yung processing. So, you get into the pre-check, make an account, and then give the details. And then there's some requirements there. Um, ito yung mga binigay kong requirements doon. I-upload mo siya through the website. Yun din yun yung uh, website ng uh, Red Cross. So, you have to give your language certificate, which is the B2 German certificate in my case. So, if you're from Italy or from France or from any other EU countries, you have to give only the three main uh, language certificate here in Switzerland. So, Italian, German, and French. So, in my case, I'm going to be working in, on that time, I'm going to be working on a German area. So, I need to give the... German language certificate and then your diploma diploma of course um, you can upload it there um, the proof of your registration as a nurse wherein you did the nursing course so in my case I'm a Filipino nurse I did my course my bachelor in the Philippines so I have to prove the registration there so um, what I uploaded is my PRC ID yeah um, you have to make sure guys that your PRC ID is still valid if you upload it and then the number of hours of my practicum and my jury so you have to upload it there as well so kung nakapag-register na kayo sa um, Germany uh, to recognize your um, nursing diploma so magbibigay din kayo nun, diba? So you need it uh, to Switzerland as well, yung number of hours of duty and practicum. So it needs to be in, in German as well. So in my case, 
um pina translate ko siya they needed it in the german version and of course her certificate of employment na mga pinagtrabahuhan mo before they need it as well you can upload it there as well and then your um deutsche erkunde or german yun nga kung na registered na kayo in any, any other part of the eu countries in my case is in germany um, I have a Orkunde there, yung tinatawag nilang registration as a nurse there. So, in-upload ko rin yun. You can upload it there. And of course, your valid IDs, your passport. If you're EU citizen, if you're German citizen, uh, you can upload it there. And then, that's the first one, the pre-check. And then, I waited um, four weeks for the result. And hindi pa ito yung main result, ha? yung from pre-check pa lang yun. And then, they will either set positive or negative, as I mentioned before. And then, lumabas yun siya mga, yeah, mga four weeks. And then, they said it's positive. The, um, I can continue the processing. And then, I received the letter, the anthrax formular, ang tawag nila doon. It's um, application form. You have to... Um, uh, you have to fill it up and send it to the uh, email of the Red Cross. You will receive an email naman eh. They said what you need if you want to, ano na, if you want to uh, continue the process after the pre-check, if you receive the uh, positive pre-check. And then um, after that, uh, I fill up the information and then I send it to the uh, Red Cross uh, email. And then... You will see the list of the documents that you need to pass through a uh, post. So you need to um, to pass it there, sa mismong um, Red Cross here in Switzerland. So nandun yung mga list of requirements. So yun mga list of requirements din na nakasulat in my case. Iba iba kasi yon depende kung ano yung kailangan nila. So sa akin. They also want my B2 language certificate in a number of hours and uh, uh, theory and practicum, my um, German Urkunde, German passport, my um, certificate of employment, and uh, my um, registration ID in, in, in the Philippines, my diploma. And then um, all of that, ano lang naman, um, through photocopies, they will uh, set din naman sa list of documents if, it, if they need original or photocopies. The only one na hiningi nila sa akin through original is the certificate of good standing where you last work or where the place where you are working. So in my case, I was working that time in Munich in germany so i need to get my certificate of good standing there you will get it not from your employer but through the um burger bureau or in your gemeinde yun yung tinatawag nila you have to go there and uh you have to ask and um that, uh, apply for the um, certificate of good standing yun yung um they will say that you're clear on that on that um uh, profession so medyo matagal yon so um kailangan yun na talagang kapag nakapag-decide na kayo na you want to go to Switzerland kailangan medyo unahin yun na yon kasi matagal yon so dun sa certificate of good standing you need na um yung uh, Deutsche Erkunde nyo which is your registration yung sa Germany kailangan yun ipakita yon kailangan yun yan siya ipanotarize and then kailangan nyo siya ipasa dun sa uh, burger bureau kung saan kayo um, currently nag-work or kung saan yung last workplace nyo. Certificate of Good Standing and kailangan niyan siya in original. So, nung na-complete ko na lahat ng documents, na list of documents na kailangan nila, um, you need to pay yung half nung um, payment, ng registration. So, um, medyo nagpahal na, it's 1,050 francs ang the whole um payment for the registration and um i paid the first one 600 uh francs um kasama rin yung uh receipt doon kapag na-receive nyo list of um documents 
and then you have to pay it through online or you through SEPA or Lashrip and then kailangan included din siya sa mga papers na ipapasa nyo. So, kapag ka na-complete nyo na list of documents na nakalagay doon and then yung uh, receipt, then na nabayaran nyo na yung first uh, first half ng fee, um, pwede nyo na siyang isend through post. So, yun, ginawa ko. Ang pinakamatagal lang talaga yung certificate of good standing from, from Germany. Yun yung uh, medyo matagal kasi ibang papers meron na naman ako eh. And then, make sure lang na um, yung ibang papers kapag uh, hindi um, English, German, Italian, or French, kailangan nyo siyang ipa-translate uh, through the three main languages ng Switzerland. So, in my case, most of my uh, documents naman, kasi nagawa ko na rin yun sa Germany, naka-translate na siya through German. So, medyo wala na akong problema. So, yun, naka... Um, when I finished all the list documents, pinasa ko na siya sa um, Red Cross. And then, I waited around two months. Yeah, two months. Around two months. Yeah, nag-wait ako ng two months. Tapos, magkakaroon ka na ng decide or yung pinaka-result nung um, registration mo para ma-recognize. So, luckily, um, wala naman akong um, additional requirements na hiningi nila. So, they granted automatically. So, I receive a paper. Well, you, you nagtaka pa ako ng una kasi I only received a papers saying na um, congratulations, you're um, recognized na as a Pflegefachfrau in, in here in Switzerland. So, here they said this Pflegefachfrau sa Germany is Gesundheits- und Krankenpflegerin. So, sa atin nurse. Yeah. So, yon na na-recognize na siya and I don't need to uh, pass any other um, exams or course. So, it's automatically. So, last na yon And nababayaran ko na lang yung additional payment which is yung 400, yeah, 405 or something francs pa. And then, um, I paid that and then they give me my registration number. And then, that's it. But then, minigay ko siya sa agency ko and then sa employer ko. And then, I'm officially uh, uh, res res registered na here in Switzerland. So, uh, hindi ka makakareceive ng certification. Kasi sa Germany, you will receive a certification. Yeah, here, you will receive the ano lang, number. The number lang. So, medyo nagtaka pa ako nauna. Kala ko, um, they will send me another um, another um, letter na included yung mismong, um, I mean, certification, something. And then, I called them. Sabi ko, um, if it's uh, the number lang ang ma-receive ko, meron pa certification, they said, yun lang talaga, yung number lang. So, that's number, it's lifetime na siya. Yun na yung number mo as a uh, um, profesh, uh, as professional registered nurse here na you're certified na to work here. And yun, na registered ka na. So, yun. Actually, hindi naman siya mahirap. Um, hindi naman siya masyadong complicated. Basta, kompleto na yung mga requirements mo and meron ka na mga um, mga tawag nito yung lahat ng yon to send it to the Red Cross. So, mag yung waiting time lang yung medyo matagal. Siyempre. And, um, luckily kasi, registered na ako in Germany. Kaya, um, na grant nila rin nila yun here automatically. So, yun yung isa sa mga advantage Kasi they have a um, partnership, syempre it's EU community na um, it's a parallel uh, decision what um, um, the, kung nabigyan na ako ng registration sa Germany. So, I will be registered here as well kasi nga meron silang uh, partnership through EU. Even Switzerland is not in, in, a, in an EA, uh, so European Union. Yun. Um, yeah, that's it. Important kasi yung um, recognition kasi um, mostly mga, mga big institution or hospitals, they actually need it. Um, at saka uh, mag-start as yung salary mo if you're recognized. So, mas maganda yun. You can start working here sa mga nursing home, um, sa mga, I think, rehabilitation or some hospital na wala pang... Um, 
recognition or hindi ka pa registered, pwede naman yun. Um, allowed ka naman mag-work. But, uh, of course, eventually, they will ask for it then. Na kailangan mo. Na kailangan mo nang kumuha nun. No? Kailangan mo na talagang magpa-register. At saka, syempre, mas malaki yung chance mo if you're registered na. So, okay na. So, um, if you're planning to go here, yun yung isa sa mga um, importante na kailangan asikasuhin din. Yung mga paperwork din yan, syempre. Isa sa mga um, una na dapat gawin nyo when you um, decided na, okay, I will transfer and I want to work there in Switzerland. Um, ayun, it's not really that complicated as long na isusunod nyo lang yung pattern. And then, ano naman, very uh, precise naman sila if they need another um, um, papers pa or requirements pa or proof pa, they will uh, send you a letter on an email and then, um, yun, you can just pass it. Or pwede rin kayong tumawag sa hotline ng Red Cross and then you will ask kung ano yung status nung uh, application nyo and then they will say it naman kung ano yung status. So, yun, yun siya. And yung pre-check, yung, yung first, uh, first step talaga, yun ang important din kapag ka nag-apply kayo kasi inahanap talaga yun ng ibang uh, employers here na at least yung pre-check nyo is positive. Yung um, first step na pwedeng i-recognize talaga yung diploma nyo here. Yun yung um, sense nung or yung purpose nung pre-check. Kasi meron kasing mga ibang country siguro na hindi recognizable talaga yung um, diploma nila here. So, they need to undergo again ng course. So, kaya maganda rin yung pre-check. As in, sa start pa lang malalaman mo na if you want to proceed to go through that is positive or if it's negative na walang chance na ma-recognize here. So, malalaman mo na from the start. So, hindi lang yun from the, from, <coughs> hindi lang yun para sa mga nurses. So, Pwede rin siya sa mga physiotherapy, sa mga teachers, uh, engineers, ayun, nandun yun kung sa mga ibang lugar kayo nag-work. So, um, important yun. Um, www.redcross.ch, dun yung makikita lahat ng uh, mga information. Nagmimix yung ano ko, English ko and German, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah www.redcross.ch yon in English. Sorry. And then yung pre-check is pre-check.ch Yun siya. Uh, yun. And um, yun nga, kapag ka importante kasi na um, nurse ka na dito, registered ka lang na if you want to work as a travel nurse, siyempre yung mga malalaking institution, gusto nila registered ka na. But if you want to, um, dito ka na magpa-register, uh, mag-wait ka na lang, pwede din naman. Kasi yun sa akin naman, dumating naman yung, ano ko, yung registration ko. Nandito na ako, nakastart na ako ng work. So mostly mga two months na yata ako nun sa work ko. Tsaka palang lumabas yung registration ko. So wala din namang problema yun. As long na yung pre-check mo is positive. Yun nga, sinasabi ko, yung start. Yun, that's it. Um, if you have any questions or um, comments, just um, write down below and then I will try to uh, answer that or I will try to help you as much as possible. Kano yung mga kailangan nyo. And sinabi ko nga sa last video ko, the first actually requirement is you have to be an EU citizen or um, you're living here in Switzerland already with your partner and you have the permit, it's either L or B, then you can work here or you're married to an EU citizen and um, you, have <coughs> you have the permit as well. So, pwede pwede na yon if you're a nurse. Yeah, uh, maraming mga advantages and disadvantages working um, here as a nurse in Switzerland or working here generally in Switzerland. And I will uh, talk about it in my next video. Well, thank you for watching my videos and hopefully you subscribe to this. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. And I'll show you some another beautiful spot here in Switzerland na napuntahan ko na. Yeah, please hang on. Bye.